Hey guys, we're gonna be having a honeydew. I don't know if we're gonna make a smoothie yet or if we're just gonna eat half a honeydew plain, but let's open it up and see. The seeds are gonna go in our compost pile. We've got all kinds of little critters that love eating our compost pile. They don't even let it get a chance to turn into garden soil. They just start eating everything as soon as we put stuff out there. I'm trying to decide if I wanna do a smoothie with it or just eat it plain. It's really good plain. Oh, that is juicy. You know, I think I'm gonna do a smoothie with half of it. Okay, I'm doing about a cup and a half of ice. And then we've got our honeydew cubed and our mint. And that's all I'm gonna put in here. We'll add some water. Taste test. That's good. We need a little garnish though. I'm gonna take a little sliver out of my honeydew. It's just a little piece of, little end of the honeydew. Slip that in there. And then take your, take your little mint sprig. And if you want a little contrasting color up there, you could do a strawberry up there as the garnish instead. And whenever I blend mint into a smoothie, I like to use a little mint sprig at the top. It serves as a warning flag to Michael because he hates mint. And so then that keeps him from stealing my smoothie if he sees it sitting around. <laughs> Cause he'll know that that's a, that's a warning flag that says, hey, there is mint blended into this too. Watch out, do not drink. All right, we're gonna make some barbecue sauce and I'm thinking I'm gonna try it out on some oyster mushrooms. So we're gonna do some skewers. Um, do kind of like a little barbecue style lunch today. And I was snacking on some mulberries. So I'm just gonna have another bite of these. These are really good. And if you're, you know, needing a little sweet treat or a little snack or something, you know, it fills that need while at the same time being a good boost of calcium for the day. So might as well, you know, when you're slipping in a little treat, might as well have some nutrients in there that you want. And I had my goji berries earlier too. Yeah, we got a bag of those at Costco. In fact, let me see if I've got the bag still. Okay, there's the bag from Costco. And they're also a source of iron and protein too. Okay, we're gonna be making black strap barbecue sauce. So let's go ahead and crack open our little can of tomato paste. We're making this in the Vitamix and I'm gonna be using tomato paste as our base. So I'm gonna put this whole little can in there. This is one of those small ones. What, what size is that? Six ounces. Okay, I'm gonna put in one tablespoon of blackstrap molasses. We're gonna use a little liquid smoke. Just the tiniest bit should do. Um, we're gonna do about a teaspoon. I'm gonna add in some pineapple. Let's do about, I think it's about a half. Yeah, so that was about half a cup of pineapple. Okay, we're gonna add in some medjool dates and these are a little smaller, so I'm gonna do about five of those. All right, and five. Okay, let's blend that up and see how we like it. Okay, let's check that out. Okay, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a little more blackstrap molasses and dates. But first, I'm gonna take out my I gotta take out my jacket because we're making barbecue sauce and uh, I probably shouldn't be wearing white when I'm making barbecue sauce. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna add a little more blackstrap molasses. I'm gonna do, I think, a total of three tablespoons. Mm. Yeah, that can of tomato sauce was just so thick that I wanna take that down a notch. I don't want it too tomatoey. We'll add a few more dates. Ideally, I will do date syrup ahead of time next time, but that's okay. We can do it this way and just add a little splash of water in there. So total, that would be about one cup of dates. We'll add just a little water because it's pretty thick with that tomato paste. Let's see how that is. That's good. Wow. Okay, that is killer. Um, but it is a thick barbecue sauce, so if you wanted it thinner, you just add a little more water. Or if you're doing the date paste, you know, that's gonna have, that's gonna be a syrupy already. Um, did I say date paste? I meant date syrup. Yeah. 
We're just playing in the kitchen right now, by the way. I don't have an actual recipe that I'm working off of, so I'm actually gonna write that down so I can remember exactly what we did. So even though this is on video already, I just wanna jot it down. Now you can put your blackstrap barbecue sauce on anything you want, but I'm gonna be using oyster mushrooms. I got these at Sprouts, and it's actually like a large mushroom cluster. And so if you haven't used these before, you, you gotta wash these before you use them. So I'll just throw them in here and just go ahead and rinse them. I'm gonna be making skewers. So I just have these little barbecue. We got these at Walmart for like a dollar. Now we're just gonna braise the mushrooms with our blackstrap barbecue sauce. This one, the way that it's formed, I'm not gonna break it apart, but some of them, some of them are quite large and I'll just kind of pull it apart and they have a really kind of interesting texture. They're very meaty. It would be ideal if you had one of those little brushes, the little braising brushes. I don't have one of those, but I should definitely get one if I'm gonna be doing this all summer long. So this barbecue sauce turned out really sweet and tangy. So it's up to you if you want to add any spices. This is really just a base and I didn't want to add any spices. I figure, you know, you guys can add whatever you want to it. I like to keep my food more simple because I have, uh, you know, allergies to a lot of spices or sensitivities. Okay, we're going to pull this one apart. Look at, can you see how that breaks apart? Just saying this is an awesome replacement for chicken or well for any kind of meat really. Because it's, you know, it's about the texture, right? These oyster mushrooms are also loaded with protein and nutrients. Okay, our mushrooms are ready to go on the skewers now. You can add anything that you want on your skewer. I'm just going to do mine really simple with just the mushroom, the barbecue mushroom and pineapple. So I start with a piece of pineapple. Careful when you're poking your skewer through too. Make sure your finger's not in the way there. You don't want to poke yourself. These mushrooms marinate really well. They just, they are like sponges. They soak up everything. Fit one more piece of pineapple on there. Okay, my oven is preheated to 400 and our skewers are ready to be baked. I'm gonna bake these for about 15 minutes. Let's pop these in the oven. Okay, my timer just went off. Let's check them. Let's see how they are. Yeah, this big one's nice and tender all the way through. Okay, so depending on the size of your mushrooms, baking them at 400 for about 15 minutes should be good. And depending on your oven too. Okay, so I'm making a rainbow salad right now and I was gonna do a, like a strawberry spinach salad and then I was like, wait, no, I've got like all kinds of produce in there that I wanna be eating every day. So I've got beets here, I've got my red beets, golden beets, red cabbage, purple cauliflower, I've got some dandelion greens back here, spinach, avocado, and cucumber, and some palm hearts here too. So I'm gonna throw all that together. Oh, that's what I need too is I don't have like a, I need like a big salad bowl. I don't have any kind of large bowls. Um, so I'm gonna look for that tomorrow. I'll put that on my list. So, okay, that's what I'm throwing together for our salad. All right, here we go. I wish I was serving this to you guys right now. I wish I was just handing it through the screen to you. Should we taste test the kebabs? Here. Wow, okay, that's good. Yep, that is really good. These have just the right amount of sweet and tanginess. I do have my big salad too, so I'm gonna sit down. I'll see you guys for maybe an afternoon smoothie. All right, it's after lunch, afternoon time now. Um, we're gonna make a smoothie. I'm not sure what kind I'm gonna make. We're just gonna play around with it and see what we come up with this time. So I've got almost a cup of ice. That's about three quarters. I've got two carrot carrot oranges. Throw the juicy stuff down there first. Frozen bananas here. Let's do some frozen peaches in here too. We'll do about, okay, so I've got about one cup of frozen peaches in here. Okay, let's do some frozen strawberries. These are huge, so I'm just gonna do, okay, that's like four giant strawberries. So this is the Simply Organic Madagascar Vanilla. I think the lid is stuck on it, because it's, oh, there we go. Okay, just about a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm out of my chia seed gel, but I'll go ahead and throw some dry chia seeds in here. Okay, so we'll do one tablespoon chia seeds. I will add one tablespoon of the kuma powder. 
I know I'm always repeating myself in these videos, so if you watch every single one, you're gonna hear the same thing throughout them. But just in case, I always wanna make sure if someone just comes in like, you know, midstream and they just come upon one video and they're like, oh, what did she say she added in there? The Lacuma powder is, it's a fruit from Peru and they dry it and then grind it into a powder. From what I understand, Lacuma is one of the most popular flavors of ice cream down there. And so I thought, oh, that would be fun um, to try that out in smoothies and stuff. So it's kind of touted as a sugar alternative, but I don't really consider it that because it's not that sweet. It's nothing like that. It's just a fruit powder that has a little bit of sweetness to it, but it has more of a malt kind of um, kind of flavor to it, you know? Um, and it has uh, some thickening properties too, so it adds a little bit of creaminess. Oh, but one of the important things is it's very low on the glycemic index, so that's why some people use it as like a sugar replacement. And you know the drill, just, just enough water to get it to blend up. Okay, this recipe is gonna be a little like our Ornish Julius, except we have strawberry in here. And uh, we, we only use two oranges instead of three. You know, I don't like it as much as our real Orange Julius. The strawberries just kind of hijack it a little too much. And then it becomes strawberry banana versus creamsicle, you know, uh, orange, peach, vanilla. It's still really good though. But um, yeah, the Orange Julius one, the creamsicle Orange Julius, that one's one of my favorites, so. Hey guys, I'm baking a sweet potato and I've got lentils going. Let's go see what Michael's doing. This is it, barbecue. I'm using Chris King's barbecue sauce. Put it really fired up. And I'm, uh, yeah, I don't have any of the grilling tools that you're supposed to have. Oh, so shoot. I'm just winging we it. We gotta go get you the little, the little like tongs. Yeah, you know? I think so. <laughs> But uh, fortunately, some of the mesquite I got, and using that as mesquite smoking. And Those are Amy's burgers? These. Uh, these are Amy's. I was trying to get the Beyond Meat, but I couldn't find them. So. Authentic Arizona mesquite smoked. Yes. A non alcohol beer. You know, complete the whole grilling uh -huh. effect. <laughs> yeah, I was supposed to have an apron and, you know, a big grill and all the tools and mittens. But oh. I'm not getting that carried away, like I say. Making a mess of it here. But that's, that, I like that sauce. The texture too. So Thinner. See, it spreads nicely for barbecue. Hot. There it is. I'm just having a really simple dinner tonight. I just made some lentils. I've got chives on there and I seasoned them with dulse flakes. And then I've got my sweet potato. I was almost gonna do an artichoke, but I'm gonna be full with just this. And we're gonna go to the gym tonight too. So I'm just gonna have these and then I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, we're on chronometer.com, my favorite website for tracking my nutrients and keeping my food diary. Everything's in there. I'm pretty sure, let's see, did we, did we get the, well, I don't know if I got my B12 spray on there, but I took that this morning. And my Brazil nut, sometimes I forget to get that on camera. Um, 2,183 calories consumed today. That was 80% carbs, 10% fat, and 10% protein. 100% of targets met today. Let's see, everything is in the green except fat, which is not that big a deal because I hit my omegas, that's my main concern in that. 4.1 grams of omega-3, 4.4 grams of omega-6. That's the closest that I've got so far to a one-to-one -one ratio. I'm very excited about that. Let's check out protein, 148% today. Let's see what that was. Top of the list, lentils for the win. Next and second place is oyster mushrooms, beets, goji berries, uh, sweet potato, oranges, honeydew melon, apricots, bananas, mulberries. Let's check out calcium. We're over a thousand milligrams today. Let's see what that was. Top of the list, mulberries, oranges, dandelion greens, sweet potato, chia seeds, goji berries, beets, honeydew melon, lentils, strawberries. How about selenium? We're at 125%. Top of the list, you know it's Brazil nuts for the win. We've got lentils, chia seeds, honeydew melon, oyster mushrooms, bananas, beets, oranges, peaches, strawberries. How about zinc? We're at 123% today. Top of the list, lentils, oyster mushrooms in second place, beets, sweet potato, honeydew melon, chia seeds, apricots, 
avocado, peaches, strawberries. We're over a thousand milligrams of vitamin C today. Let's see what that was. Top of the list, peaches. One of my favorite ways to boost vitamin C is eating peaches. Oranges, next in second place. Strawberries in third place. Honeydew melon, pineapple, red cabbage, sweet potato, cauliflower, apricots, dandelion greens. Let's check out vitamin E. We're at 117% for vitamin E today. Top of the list for the win, dandelion greens. Second place, apricots. Peaches in third place. We've got sweet potato, avocado, oranges, strawberry, spinach, peppermint, bananas. Let's check out niacin, 189% for niacin today. I totally thought it was gonna be lentils, but I forgot those oyster mushrooms are loaded with B vitamins and well, they're loaded with all kinds of nutrients. But uh, niacin, I'm gonna have to remember that one for them. Okay, sweet potato in second place, honeydew melon lentils in fourth place. We've got peaches next, bananas, apricots, avocado, oranges, beets. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you go for tonight and I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning.